Greetings. Um, this topic is not a topic I'm an expert at, right? It's something I discussed one one or two times, looked it up, not very, like, um, not very vividly. Not like usually I when I tackle things and I want to be good at them, I I tackle them way more. But it's a topic I wanted to talk about. It got brought up in the stream with Luis and the Anime Law Season Three, and. Um, I've talked about it in a cup with a couple of friends, and I think that's like um, one of the reasons many creative people and creative tastes differ, and why. And I'd like to expand upon it just for so people get a perspective of why sometimes they don't agree on the same things, right? Ex realism versus expressionism. Fancy terms. Let's define them. Um, loosely, from my understanding, realism is... Uh, let's start with expressionism, actually, because it's simpler to explain. Expressionism is basically the distortion of reality to amplify your emotional effect. Whatever it is, right? Your emotional effect, the way it goes, is... Um, let's say... Let me pick a musical. Like, in plays, whenever you go to a theater... You sit, and you know this isn't like, um, I don't know, uh, the alleyways of uh, London or whatever. You know this isn't uh, uh, C Caesar's uh, uh, the theater where Caesar got stabbed, if we're talking Shakespeare. It's, like, we're, it's not that. You know it's a theater, and you know all these are props, and you know the actors aren't really people, and you know that they're walking around with a script. You know this, but you choose to neglect all of this, and even though what's in front of you is nothing but a distortion of reality, you choose to allow it to enter you and affect you emotionally. Now let's take that same thing and put it in a in a in a platform where realism can be established, like movies, right? Um, movies can be very realistic and vivid, but you see now a lot of movies follow that. Action movies certainly don't follow that. Action movies try their best to like amplify the main character. Um, what's the other thing? Um, like the supernatural show, stuff like that. All of those are like distortions of reality. And some things happen that you know in reality will never happen. Even if reality followed the same laws as the universe that the, uh, the show or the creative platform is on. Um, you know that a lot of things are distorted to get emotional effect. So, uh, the classic picture is that, you know, screaming man with a weird, re like, distorted reality behind him that shows panic and fear and, and these things, just emotions, so many emotions. Like, you, you can look at the painting and you're like, you, can, you cannot use words. Not enough, there isn't enough words to get the, the emotions out, right? So, that's expressionism. Distorting reality, that's the definition I'll go back. Distorting... Uh, distorting reality in order to get an emotional effect, all right? Realism is using reality in your creative platform for that emotional effect. What does that mean? Um, best example I can give are shows like The Witcher, shows, uh, I don't know if you're into Netflix, Altered Carbon is very close. Uh, and what they do is they take the fantasy of whatever it is, futurism, um, you know, when you're in the future, like a dystopia, right? Or what's its name? Um, fantasy, uh, even real life, romance, and all that, and just shows you the ugliest, most realistic ways of portraying this reality to get your the, the emotional effect. And what happens is that because it feels real, it can be easily related to. That's the key word, right? Um, best example I can give for a realism one is Game of Thrones for people who watched it and what what Martin did in that show or in that in those series of books is uh, like uh, um, A Song of Ice and Fire is what he did he, he took fantasy and he made it so filled with real intrigue and real life um, richness that a person who reads it um, sometimes just pause like, oh, shit, you know? Man, man is nasty, you know? Humans are nasty. 
and uh, for me, I'm I'm pro realism. I'm I like my realism uh, way more than I like my expressionism. I like, and it shows when when I meet friends or I talk with friends and even uh, review things for friends that are of the expressionism route. Um, I always I'm very critical of the plot and how it's not realistic. I'm very I'm very critical about that. Not always, of course. Only only when you claim something is super high quality and I watch it and it does not follow the laws of reality and I'm like, no, no, please, no. Right. And again, my my rule of thumb whenever I review anything creative is, pray like praise something that knows what it is. If you're an expressionism platform and you know what you are, praise you, praise you praise you. Maybe you're not 100% your taste, but I will claim you're a good show if you do it right, you know? Um, I've noticed the conflict mainly between these are the inability to agree on what is good in a show and what is bad in a show. And of course my answer is, I've just said it, which is, does it know what it is? And did did it do that properly? Whatever it is. If yes, that's a great show regardless of my opinion of it. If it isn't, it's, it's a bad show, regardless of how much I like it, right? It's just that simple to me. And that's, to me, that's how I reconcile between the two ways of viewing art and creativity. Expressionism likes distortion. Distortion happens. Like, think, uh, you know, like, when the main character carries logs that he's not supposed to carry, you know, because no human can carry these logs. Or when somebody uses the power of friendship, you know, friendship power-up. People hate that shit and in, in, in animation and stuff like that. But, like, it's fine. It's fine if it's done right. When it has it been done right, Fire Emblem the game. Uh, Awakening and the one after it. It was done right. Um, I don't know where, where else, but, like, um, like, those concepts can be done properly. And if they're done properly, they're actually very good, right? But you ha- they have to be done right. This is important. And to me, that's how I reconcile between the two fields, because they can't see each other. Like realism, are like not realistic enough. Fuck you. There isn't enough rape. There isn't enough incest. You know, like, like why is the Lord of the Rings so fucking like happy and gritty? But oh, the Dark Lord. Yeah, the Dark Lord is happier than, uh, I, I, like, you know, the, some good characters, some other shows, and the Lord of the Rings. But what makes the Lord of the Rings so brilliant? It knows what it is and it did it right. That's why it's good. Not because it's expressionist. If you are of, of an expressionist taste, more power to you. If you're from a realistic taste, more power to you. But you have to understand whenever you're looking at the other side of the spectrum, if you're going to enjoy it, look. Do they know what they are? And are they doing it right? If it is, maybe you're not, it won't be your favorite. But by all means, it's good enough. Right? So, yeah, that's my two cents on the realism versus expressionism and how to reconcile them. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.